This cleaning process only pertains to the iMac G3 color covers that are made from polycarbonate. As with any project, you do this at your own risk. I do not assume any liability for your actions or results. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to breathe some new life into your aging iMac G3 color covers. And the issue with these covers is that they get scratched over time and they get cracked and they get brittle as all computer covers do. Although these fare a little bit better because these are made out of polycarbonate. And the manufacturing plastic codes, they usually will designate the material. A lot of people think it was acrylic. A lot of people thought they were polyvinyl chloride, which is PVC. But according to this, you can see the PC there, and it stands for polycarbonate. That's the manufacturing. That's what they do in the plastic industry. They designate the material. And this is actually the number. I've looked it up. It doesn't come under an Apple part number. I've tried to research it there. So that could be just a manufacturing number. But the polycarbonate is an interesting material. Not all polycarbonate materials are made the same. There's optical grade, like we use in optics, like for CDs and like for eyewear. And then there's commercial grade. And then there's also military grade for like canopies and jet planes and stuff like that. This one is a different type of grade. I'm not exactly sure what the specific atomic code is for it but it's flexible but it can break and this and the issue with polycarbonate cases or material in general is it is a, even though it's flexible it's a softer material you can scratch it with your fingernail and that's what happens to these things these things get really scratched up easy just from moving to you know if you move around a lot from house to house or or dorm to dorm or apartment to apartment uh, these things get scratched up so I'm going to show you an easy way to polish these up. And a lot of this stuff you can get from your automotive store to polish it. Now I'm not going to do the whole case in front of you here. I'm just going to pick out some spots on it to do. But I am going to tell you the do's and don'ts. What you should clean these with and don't clean them with. Because some things that you clean it with will permanently fog the plastic or even melt it. And we'll discuss that here in a minute. So generally what is a pretty mild cleaner to use on your case is to start off with, a lot of people just start out with using rubbing alcohol. That's okay, but you don't want to do it all the time because that can damage the case and time. What works really good is just use Dawn dishwashing soap the blue kind, like what you wash your dishes with. It's very, very soft. It's very gentle. It will not hurt plastics. It will not hurt coatings. It will not fog the plastic. We use this in the optical industry. Um, you know, you get some patients that have the anti-glare coating, uh, certain kind of frames. Uh, it won't hurt it. Even mere coats. That's what uh, a lot of these manufacturers recommend. So I wash it all up first with Dawn dishwashing soap. That's going to get a lot of the dust and the grime and stuff on it. Then I'll go over it with some alcohol for certain things. Now what you don't want to use, I mean you could use it, you could use a magic eraser, but what's going to happen, like say these spots right here, use a magic eraser. These are pretty deep scratches in here, but if you use a magic eraser, it's going to dull it. So you're going to have a shiny and it's all, it's going to look funny. So then you got to polish it to blend it in. Just like this case here, it's got a lot of scratches on it here. It's really rubbed up against the wall. And like I said, we'll be able to make that look a lot better. We're going to do that here in a couple couple minutes here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash this up with Dawn dishwashing soap. And uh, so let me go get some and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to use regular Dawn dishwashing soap. Uh, and by the way, I'm not a paid spokesperson for Don. I don't make any 
money on any of this stuff, okay? This is just stuff that you have around the house, okay? But you know what? This stuff works pretty good for a lot of different things. But anyway, so, and you just get a little warm water. Now, the three things that you do not ever want to clean your iMac G3 collar covers with is paper towel. Never, ever get in the habit of using this stuff. This material is very soft. You can scratch it with your fingernail. And this paper towel, it's like using sandpaper. You're going to be putting surface scratches on the plastic. So never, ever use paper towel. It's like using sandpaper on it, okay? Don't believe me? Go to YouTube and watch people refurnish furniture with paper towels. You can do it. Number two, never ever use Windex. Windex is for glass, not for plastic, especially polycarbonate. You will damage the plastic. You will eventually will fog it and it'll cloud up and you'll have a hard time ever getting it to be unclouded okay because it gets into it absorbs into the material this is porous it will absorb in there and you will never ever be able to get it out so don't use windex it's great for glass i use it for glass it's great for your car use it on your appliances use it on your bathroom sinks and stuff but it's got ammonia in it plus a lot of other harsh phosphates in it. And like I said, it will wreck it, okay? It's not for computer cases. You get away with it, yeah, you can clean it with it once in a while, but don't do it on a regular basis. You're gonna mess it up. And then number three is rubbing alcohol. You gotta be careful with this stuff. Alcohol and polycarbonate don't mix. Alcohol, if it's 100% alcohol, it will get into little cracks and crevices and it will actually start cracking the plastic. We've done it with plastic lenses at work from the reps that manufacture the polycarbonate lenses. They tell us never to use rubbing alcohol on polycarbonate lenses because it will damage them in time. Now this is a 70% and this is okay to go over it, you know, to, to get some things off initially because it's not that, it's, it's diluted with water. But stay away from the 100%. And even the 70%, I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time on them. It's going to damage the cover. Like I said, the best thing to clean them with is just Dawn dishwashing soap, a soft cotton cloth, or a microfiber cloth. Stay away from anything that's got wood in it. Paper towel, Kleenex, toilet tissue. It's going to scratch your cover. And all that hard work that you've done is going to be ruined again. So now we're going to try to clean up some of these uh, surfaces here. Now we've already washed it with the Dawn. And we got the, we got all the uh, dust and stuff off of it, and you get the light just right here. Let me see here. Uh, you can see there's lots of scratches on it right there. You can see them right there. There's some bad swirlies there. So I'm going to show you just a couple simple things that will take care of the very very light scratches. Like I said, the stuff that's really on there and I'll bring the bottom case over here would be like right here where it's really it is really scratched up you can just see all those scratches and marks on it so yeah you can polish it up but you're still going to have that so this will require a little bit more uh, horsepower we'll say you're going to use uh, some heavier grit and we would use some wet dry sandpaper uh, to try to smooth a lot of that stuff out work it out and then we'd have to slowly polish it back up to get it looking glossy again. And it can be done. It's just going to take a lot of effort on your part to do it. You know, you can take this as far as you want it. If you just want to just do a light polish. And a lot of people just do the covers because that's what you're going to see most of the time. But for some collectors, if you really uh, want it to look the best you can, then they're going to really work this over a little bit to get a lot of the scratches out. Okay? So let's uh, work on this cover here. And we'll try to get some scratches out. Okay, so what we're going to use is we're going to use, this is uh, automotive stuff. Uh, you can get this at any automotive place. But this is the Meguiar's Plastic X. And uh, this is like for headlights and stuff like that because uh, all your newer cars, that is polycarbonate material. And the reason why they go with polycarbonate material, it's 
very impact resistant. It gets all beat up and dented up and scarred up. But uh, yeah, so that's what this is for. This takes out light scratches, okay? And it also gets rid of fog plastic. It brightens it up and it gets rid of the yellowing. So uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is again, using a soft cotton cloth here, uh, you don't have to wet it. And just kind of shake this up a little bit. And like I said, for the heavier scratches, you can get automotive rubbing compound. There's different grits of it, and that's fine. Um, but like I said, obviously you want to be careful. Uh, you don't want to just do a little spot to test it. That's what I always do first, um, just to test it a little bit. And what I do is I just take and I put a little bit of this on here like that. And we're just going to do, we're just going to pick out a little spot. Okay, now you can drive yourself crazy just going all over this thing trying to polish it up. But just take uh, some time, like we have some scuffs right here, okay? And I'm going to try to, hopefully you can see that on the camera right there. So what you're going to do is, you want to lay this down flat. I lay it down on a towel because it doesn't move around much. And if you got somebody to help you to kind of hold the cover, you're all better off. You can even put a pillow inside here, and that kind of will also kind of give you a little support. But what we're going to do is you're just going to go like this. You're just going to go like this in a circular motion. You don't want to go like that. You want to go in a circular motion. And we're just going to do a spot. Okay, we're not going to do the whole thing here. I just want to, you'll see the dramatic change here. Now you're going to look on this cloth here, and this doesn't look bad because we washed it first with the Dawn dishwashing soap. So we got a lot of the, we get that surface dirt off. But like I said, and, you don't, and with this here, you don't have to push really hard. You don't want to break the cover. Just basically the weight of your hand. Now, if you had a low speed auto polisher, orbital, a professional one, that would be a real quick way of polishing this up. Okay. And so we're still working on it here. And like I said, you know, this is not going to just take it off real quick. It's going to take a little time on your, on your part. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over. And usually I would just have a separate cloth to take the, the wax off here, to take the polishing compound off. So now what we're going to do is, we get it. well, that's really slippery now. So now you can already see that it looks a lot better. Now you still see that little spot there, okay? Because we have to keep working on that, okay? But you can see it's it's or you know you compare it, you can see where I, where it was over here, and you can see there what a difference already. And it it takes that light surface scratches off. It's really amazing. This stuff works really great. But like I said, if you get really deep scratches, then you're going to have to do a little heavier rubbing compound on it. And there's different grits of that, and you successively work your way up to the finer grit. That's how you get to shine back on it. So let's go and hit this again here. I'm going to open my cloth back up here, the side that I was using. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a, we'll do a little bigger area this time. Okay. And again, just kind of smooth this out a little bit. So that way it's, you know, it's on there. All right. So let's do this again here. And just take your time, don't be in a hurry. Wax on, wax off. If you want to say that a few times, you can do that. But like I said, it's uh, it's going to take time. And then as you do this, you can concentrate on certain areas. I'm just kind of going over this here just to kind of... Uh, Get it looking good here. And we'll do a comparison here. Like I said, this is uh, going to take some time. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go and we're going to get that stuff off. And you want to hold this down. You don't want it wiggling on you. Okay. You don't want to break anything. Okay. All right. We'll put that over there and see you can already see how shiny it's looking now see it's see how more gloss looks looking more glossy and I get it over here 
you can still see some scratches in there, but it's taken a lot of this stuff and it's really polished it up already. Because like I said, this is a soft material. And like I said, if we keep working on this, we're going to get that pretty much all out of there, okay? And you compare it to the side that we have it done and uh, look at the diff look at the difference. Well, let me get the light just right here so you can see it here. And see, here's the other side. Now you see all the really scrapes and stuff on it here. And it's kind of hard to capture it here, but it trust me, it's this is all. This is the probably the worst side. And I, like, there's a real big scratch there. So let's let's do the other side here, okay? But like I said, this one here, it's improving. We just just it just takes time to do it. Okay, so let's hit this side here, and I can feel it. There's some, there's some, there's some, I don't know what that is there. I don't know, it's like paint or something there. Well, hopefully we can get that off here. So we're going to take and put some more stuff on here. And like I said, just put Put a little bit on, don't go crazy with it, because this stuff smears around really good. Now, like I said, if I was doing this the proper way, I would go with a little heavier grit, really work it over, even though it'll start getting cloudy looking, that's fine, because then we'll go successfully with the finer and finer grit, and it'll get all polished up and translucent. Um, I'll put a link in here too of the, when I did the cube speakers, I polished those up because some of those were kind of beat up. Um, I used that for the Mac Pro actually. Um, I was very fortunate. I found new old stock of the Apple Pro speakers. They were in the box. And all I did is I just took and basically unsoldered the wires from the old speakers and soldered the uh, wires on the new speakers because that had the amplifier on it on the old wiring harness you need that to get the cube chime because that's built into the wiring harness but um, i show you in pretty decent detail how to get those polished up now it's acrylic material that's a little harder and it's really really polishes up very nicely And so like that spot there, I can feel it. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to the other side. And this is just a way of kind of checking yourself when you're doing this. It's like, okay, I need to concentrate on this area, okay? And again, I'm just not rubbing it really hard. And you can see that's that's looks a little bit better overall, but you can still see see those real bad scuffs right there. So, and I I think that's I'm not sure what that is that little spot there. But now what we would do is I would go over it with some real fine sandpaper, which that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of uh, wet dry automotive sandpaper on here. It's going to be 1500. I'm just going to kind of see if I can kind of knock some of this high stuff off here. And I'm going to see what kind of results I have. Now, obviously, it's going to make it look cloudy. And we're going to wet it here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this here. And I'm not worried about making it look cloudy because. We're going to polish it back up. Now I'm using 1500 grit. And I'm just going over. Oh, you want to, I want to do it wet. And I'll show you what it looks like after we hit it with the wet the grit here. You 
see how it's dulled it right there that's because we're using sandpaper on it there it's a wet dry sandpaper so that you can see how dull it is see here it's shiny here and right where he hit it that's dull that's where those spots were and you can see that it's actually started taking a lot of that out and you just do it in a circular motion like I said now if you don't feel comfortable doing this don't do it only do it if you feel comfortable because you gotta you gotta be careful with this thing you can really screw your cover up if you're not careful okay I've done this before so I'm not worried about it so I'm gonna go over it a little bit more here same spot here and again you don't have to rub very hard just let let this do all the work And when it's all uniformed, then I know that I've got that stuff all cleared off of it there. And the reason why you do it wet is it provides a lubricant between the grit and the plastic. You don't want to clog up because then you can actually put more scratches in it. And I kind of reverse directions on purpose. Okay, so now let's take a look again here. And it's good to do it out in your garage because if you make a mess, it's a whole lot easier to clean up out here than it is inside your house. So, or have a nice 4x4 four four table to work on. But again, it's nice to put a towel on it. Now you can see how. Dull that's getting there. See how dull looking it is? Right there, looks real dull. Over there, it looks shiny. Okay, and we're working on getting those scratches out. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over it with the Meguiars now, and you're going to be surprised how that starts shining it up. Go over it here, and we're going to the Meguiars here. And again, just take your time. I'm just gonna do this spot up here, okay? I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna do this spot right here. And again, we're gonna go back this way here. And I'm gonna show you the difference, just no more than I've done, how that's gonna look, all right? So if you look at this thing, see I did this here, I didn't do that spot there. See how dull looking that is? See just, just a little bit of time that I used that Meguiar's? Now it's still not like that because I had to spend a little more time on it, but it's already starting to lift a lot of the scratches out. So probably what I would do is I would just probably work on this a little bit more with the sandpaper and work on it here. And like this really bad spot right here that's really bad let's uh, work on this with the, with the uh, wet dry sandpaper and then we'll polish it a little bit okay so we've been working on this for a little while and we've definitely made a lot of progress on it but like i said it takes time it's your results are going to be dependent on how much time you want to put into these covers now if you just want to kind of give it a quick glossy look and get some very very fine surface scratches off then this McGuire's works pretty good like I said this is for headlights but it works it's for polycarbonate it will work on this if you want to be adventurous and like I'm doing and I'm taking these really deeper scratches out then you can use like a 600 very fine automotive wet dry sandpaper uh, but keep in mind, as you use it, circular motions, don't rub, rub hard, then you're going to successively go up in grits. Then you go to the 1500, then you can go to like the, the 2500 and 5000 up there, and then you hit it back with the Meguiar's and that will put the polish back on it. Now right now, I'm just, I've been working with the, uh, the 600 on here and it's pretty dull, but I've got a lot of the, the stuff off of it. I'm still going to hit it some more, but... When I'm done, it eventually is going to look like that. 
uh, just like I said, if you've never done this before, just experiment in a small area, okay? And if you have good results, then go from that. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to get all that, I get that, I got all those marks off of that, and it's just a matter of putting the polish back on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with some, um, I've already hit it with the 1500, I'm going to go over it with the 2500, and then probably go up to the 3500, and then I'll go over the McGuire's and get it buffed up and looking good. Now you could use an automotive polisher on it, but the thing with polycarbonate and a lot of plastics is you have to do it at a very low speed because you can actually burn the plastic and melt it and then you have a bigger issue and it's got to be orbital and you want to have somebody to help you with it to steady this thing because you want to be careful with it you don't want to put a lot of pressure on it because you could uh, damage the cover in the process so like I said to recap uh, there's certain things that you don't want to use on these covers all right Windex it's got ammonia in it it will fog the covers in time it's okay for once in a while but if you're gonna do it every time every time you will have bad results it's mainly for glass the other thing is rubbing alcohol you can use the alcohol on it but again kind of the same thing you don't want to keep using it because it could actually fog it in time and can actually crack it because alcohol does attack polycarb it will crack it uh, the other thing is paper towels. Anything that's made from a tree has got wood in it. So paper towel is like using sandpaper. If you're trying to clean this up and go, gee, how's come I'm getting all these marks? It's because of the paper towels, regardless of which ones you get. You never use them on plastics. Now, if you have like the, the beige collar 68K Max, that's fine because they're made out of ABS plastic, most of them. And you can do a lot of things with those as far as doing case restoration on those that are actually easier than these. Just put the Dawn on a wash rag, go over it, gets all loose surface dirt off of it, then you can fill it with the McGuire's polish. And like I said, there's different automotive polishes and you can buy them in different grits. So obviously a coarse grit's gonna cut down more, medium grit's gonna bring the shine up, finer grit, and that's what this is. This is a real fine grit. So that's why it polishes it up pretty good. Use a soft cotton cloth or a microfiber cloth and you'll be good. So I hope this tutorial will kind of solve a few mysteries of what these covers are made out of. And appreciate it if you give me a like on this video. I really appreciate it. I try to share information with everybody. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And we're also on MeWe and Twitter. You can reach out to me on Twitter and MeWe. And you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.